Okay, well, good morning, folks. Uh, here we are. It's the uh, Monday morning, I guess, of the Monday after uh, Anderson Reunion weekend. But Anderson Reunion uh, continues. Unfortunately, here I'm stuck in stinky Toronto. Uh, I've got to go to my final band today. And uh, I'm just chomping at the bit to get back to Chisholm. I'm thinking there's nothing stink in Toronto. I'm sweating. It's really hot and humid and all gross. And uh, oh, I bet those kids right now, it's uh, 25 after 7. I bet those kids are catching pike, catching bass. I bet they had a giant fire last night. Probably roasted pretzels, burned everything in sight. Oh, wish it was me. So now I've got to uh, lecture about uh, World War II and uh, specifically uh, the uh, legacy, the consequences of uh, World War II. Uh, but I'm going to get this done, and then uh, as soon as I'm finished here, let me tell you, I'm going to go up to Chisholm and I'm going to lecture about Northern Pike. And when I'm done lecturing about Northern Pike, I'm going to lecture about largemouth bass. Uh, so I'm going to finish this, and then we'll see you in Chisholm in a few hours. See you then, folks. Well, here we are again, folks, uh, back in Powassan, heading into Chisholm. It's like it's uh, Friday all over again. We got, uh, I, I just visited uh, Uncle Les, had a real nice visit, and Uncle Les gave me a note from uh, my mother and father, but I suspect it was really from my niece and nephew, and it said, please pick up bait. So I got two dozen of them dace, and uh, the worms were working good. We got pike and bass biting on worms, uh, bass anyhow, so I got uh, two dozen uh, do worms then as well and that should do us and I got some lures the kids don't even know but I got Ian Anderson always says use white spinner bait so I got a bag I got six in case we lose some and uh, loaded for bear I believe the term is although um, loaded for pike I guess is really the case anyhow uh, that's neither here nor there oh, I'm gonna keep filming perhaps down the street you can see the welcome to Powassan sign um, and I know Grandma's friend Sheila Simpson has often talked about the sign and talked about missing parts from the sign, etc. But I know it's welcome to Fawson, the friendly town. But someone uh, took the R, it fell off. So, but what that does, it makes it welcome to Fawson, the fiendly town. It's in the town of fiends. Hopefully, you can see that. Welcome to Fawson, the fiendly town. Uh, but it's I don't know of too many fiends. In Boston. Harold Eby, I guess, would have been the closest. And he was really no fiend. He was kind of a beautiful man in a lot of ways. So, uh, anyhow, maybe I'll sign back in when I'm in uh, Chisholm proper. You've all seen this drive before. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, see them kids and get some fishing in. And then we got to walk uh, down to Hodgins Landing coming up and a whole bunch of stuff on the agenda. So we'll sign in then. All right. Uh, Rock and Josh TV. Uh, Alley Cam, all those things over in it.